All right, welcome back. So now that we know how to log in as one user, uh, the obvious thing we need to create is the logout page so that we can easily log out and log in as somebody else. So to do that, let's create our logout page. So let me right click this and uh, actually let me create, let me go to the text editor and create a new file. We're going to call this one logout.php logout.php and save it. As usual, I'll remind you to have your server running. Otherwise things won't work. So this one is the easiest page to make because we're just going to have our PHP. And then the only thing we're doing is unsetting. Uh, we're going to unset the session data because this is the data that lets us know a person is actually uh, logged in. So I'll copy this and go to logout.php and then I'll simply say unset and put it in there. And then once we've unset that, we simply have to redirect our user to the login page. So we're going to say header, inverted commas, a location, full colon, login.php. Okay, something like this. So once we unset and then we redirect and I would have put the die, but it doesn't really matter because there's no, uh, there's nothing down here. So it doesn't actually matter, but this is what happens. So once we unset this, we are good to go. And that's all for the logout page. So let me click that. The only thing we have to do now is create a link for it. Usually the logout page will be at the bottom, uh, the footer and that's because you don't want people to easily log out of your social website you want to keep them there so that's why they actually put it uh, in far to reach places however we could put it right here at the top it's entirely up to you so let's go to the uh, profile page and do that from there so let me go up here where we have the header uh, where is that this is the body and this is the text my book and this is the image on the other side so we could put it right before the image uh, let me put a span that search for people which is here so i can put it somewhere here so let me create what is called a span now the reason i'm using span instead of div is because span doesn't create a new line the div takes up the whole row, but span doesn't. So I'm going to say log out, something like that in between. And let me refresh. So you see it right there. Now it's a little bit too big. So what we'll do, as you see, this one is floating right. So I want to create some styles in this one as well. I'm going to say style font size, for example. We don't want to advertise the logout, so font size should be small. I'll say 11 pixels. And then I'll tell it to float right as well, just like the profile image, so that it's next to the profile image. Logout. Now, as you can see, the logout has gone the other side, but I want it on this side. So in order to do that, I will need to swap these two swap it with the image and refresh there we go that looks much much better now i want it to leave a little bit of room uh, so i'll create some um, margin so i'm going to say margin 10 pixels let's see if that actually works there we go that looks much better now we can put a link here to the other logout page. So all I have to do is put this inside an A tag. So because I know the link will be a bit long, so I'll, I'll leave some space here and do it at the top here. I'll say A, so that's the A tag. And then I'll say logout.php. So it's a small letter L, logout.php. And then put the closing A tag down here so that it covers the entire text and let me refresh that so 
we have a color change there. Now, if you want to keep it uh, white, how it was there, and you have this blue, because this blue is automatic, all you have to do is go back to the styles here and add an actual text color. So you're just going to say color is equal to, uh, let's put white, whatever color that you want to use there, and it's going to change that color. So there we go. So now, as you can see, there's a hand there, and if I click the hand, it will take me to the logout page. So let me click. Now, as you can see, this is profile page. So let me just copy this and hit logout. And as you can see, we've been logged out. So that happened in a second. What happened is we were sent to the logout page and the logout page redirected us to the login page. Now, if for some reason I want to go straight to the profile page, it will simply, uh, it's supposed to simply bring me back to the login page, but surprise, surprise, it hasn't. So that is a problem. So let me log out and then go back and paste and it still works. So that shouldn't happen. So let's make sure we see what's really going on here. So to see, let me check out what's uh, inside the session because the logout page promised it would uh, unset this one. Okay, so let's see, let's just echo out the entire session data. So let's see. And as you can see, the values are still there, which should not actually happen. So where be the logout page? Let's see what's really going on, logout. And let's go, let me bring it into the text editor. Uh -huh. So we are saying unset this one, okay? And then we change. So instead of, uh, all right, let's see, unset. Let's see what's going on here. So it's not actually working. So one thing we could do, we can use both of these. I don't know why this unset isn't working sometimes. So what we will do, but first of all, we have to check if it's actually set, which is a good way to avoid errors. So we're going to say, if is set like so and put it in there then we unset it that way you avoid unnecessary errors okay and also if it is set let's do something else let's say is equal to we can uh, equal it to no give it a no value no it means nothing so no and then we can redirect to somewhere else. Just in case this doesn't work, we make sure we remove the value, the ID, and then we un try to unset it, okay? So let's try this instead. Let me log out, and then let's come back and paste. Oh, not really. Let me try and go back and refresh. Somehow it's still working. Now, the reason why this is happening, I've just realized my mistake. I've been uh, preaching about this, but I'm not following my own rules, is because I have to actually set uh, session start here. Now, the reason why I didn't see any errors is because I'm redirecting my page before I could see the errors on my page. So it's a good idea sometimes if you are getting errors, uh, you switch off this header redirect so that you see if there are any errors because I'm sure the errors were there. So let me do this so I can see that. Let me go to logout. And surprise, surprise, there is no error. Oh, because it's actually not set. So if I remove this is set like so and try to unset that, I'm going to get catch the error. Oh. So this doesn't, uh, oh, because I'm setting it to no before I unset it. All right, so I get it. So let me remove that as well and try to unset it and then I'll get the error. So it's going to say variable session, uh, unidentified variable because I didn't have session start on as I mentioned earlier. So let me undo all this because I know now it's going to work because I have session start. Okay, so I can even uh, close this now. I don't even need this, but uh, just in case as a redundancy. 
So let me go back to profile and refresh and then hit log out. Let me click there, hit log out. Now, if I try to go back to my uh, profile.php, I just keep being redirected to the login page. So this is awesome. Now I can uh, log in as somebody else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. So we have our info right there. So let me remove the info, the print session up here in profile.php and we are good to go. So now we've done uh, pretty much what we needed to do. So the name change, the logout page is functional as well. Pretty cool. So let's see what we'll do in the 